This is Ken Jobst with Inspirational Moments. Our scripture today comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 26 through 28. And Jesus said, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground and should sleep by night and rise by day, and the seed should sprout and grow. He himself does not know how, for the earth yields crops by itself, first the blade, then the head, and after that, the full grain in the head. In this brief parable, found only in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus describes the process of growth in the kingdom of God. The farmer scatters the seed on the ground, and then it sprouts and grows in an orderly and predictable process. First the blade, then the head, then the grain in the head. When I was a kid, we had a garden. And I helped plant the corn and the green beans and all the vegetables. And in my six-year-old mind, I still had a lot of questions. How does the bean know which way it should grow? How does it know to always send its roots down and the green parts up? How does the corn know to grow a strong stalk before it sets the heavy ears on the stalk? And my dad was always telling me, uh, it just knows. Well, look, you and I were made to grow spiritually. Just like the kernel of grain in the parable, the growth doesn't take place all overnight. It's a process. Think more along the lines of a crock pot than a microwave. It takes time because it's supposed to take time. I once heard somebody who prayed, Lord, give me patience right now. Well, what's true of the collective kingdom of God is also true in our individual spiritual growth. One of my professors, the late Dr. Robert